We are back with another lovely day of geometry. I am your host, Mr. Sindel. Today's date, write it on your papers. I forgot to do it last night. But today's date, if my tablet would work, today's date is the 28th. So come over here and say it's the 28th. What's going on with my writing stylus here? It's not liking me. Oh, no. It might be an old-fashioned day. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, no, Mr. S no. My tablet is not registering my computer. Wait, isn't today the 29th? Today's the 28th, Andres. <laughs> <laughs> isn't, isn't it 2020? <laughs> um, all right. I'm going to jerry-rig this thing and make it work. That way we don't have to do Stone Age math. There we go. Okay, it is registering now. All right, let's redo that intro. Okay, we're in geometry. Today's date is August 28th, 2019. I'm not going to do the date. Geometric definitions is the name of the game. Our objective, 50 XP. Who wants to read that? Quiet raise hand. Gunner's first hand. It's not about speed limit. It's not a math question. It's a reading question. A figure formed by two. No, no, no. Objective. Read the objective. Rate the definitions of other students. Cohen, can you please give Gunner 50 XP? All right, so, yes, we need to rate other people's definitions. That is on Khan Academy. I have one example on Khan Academy where these are the students' definitions, and then you have to rate them. You have to say, well, if I'm the teacher, this is how I'd rate them. And there is a right and a wrong way to rate them. All right, so, let's give some definitions first to give us a baseline. An angle, and I'm only looking for quiet raise hands throughout this lesson this lesson, unless I say otherwise for the rest of the year, you should always be assuming a quiet raised hand. So, who can fill in this first blank with a quiet raised hand? An angle is a figure formed by two blank that share an endpoint, also known as a blank. There's two volunteers there. This word is from yesterday. What did we learn yesterday? Oh, we learned lines, things like that, planes. What was that? Okay, quiet raised hand, Julian. Good guess, but no. So, uh, Cohen. It's going to be a little bit hard for you because you're going to have to multitask. So if they miss it, they still get 20 XP. It's going to put me down. How? <laughs> I'm not raising my hand. All right, Jose. Raise. It is indeed raise. Everyone write down raise. Again, that idea of a ray is something that has one endpoint and goes on forever in one direction. So if I have two rays, then it's an angle only if they share an endpoint. So if they share an endpoint like this, now they're the same. Well, they're, they make an angle. What is another word for that endpoint? Does anyone know it? It starts with a V. It's kind of a hard word. Andres? Vertice. Oh, you're so close. Vertice, vertice is... Vertex. There it is, yeah, vertex. 50 XP. It is called a vertex. So in your mind's eye, whenever I see the word vertex, you should be thinking of the word point. Vertex is a very complicated word that makes you sound really smart, but just be thinking of the word point. So far, so good. Circle. We know what circles look like. Are you okay? Binder down. Binder down, everyone. All right, so circle. The set of all blank in a plane that are R units away from a point. And that point is also known as the blank. So that first blank. The set of all something. And this word starts with a P. Gunner? It is indeed points. The set of all points. I don't know why I'm changing to yellow. The set of all points, come on, change the color to blue, Mr. Sinel. The set of all points in a plane that are R units away. So if you have a point here, I'm just doing the set of all points that are R units away. Let's say that R was some random unit, some random distance, that's R. Then I do all of the points that are also R units away. If I have an infinite number of points, it's a circle. So far, so good. What is this point also called for the circle? It's one of those really easy things that a kindergarten would be like, that's the, blah. what is this thing? This, this point right here starts with a C. In the middle. All right, so everyone that just shouted out an answer, you just lost HP. I always ask for quiet raised hands. I heard Gunner and Fernando. Always quiet raised hands. Let me go to the class view. 
<laughs> no, that never happens. Uh, what do I want to say here? Procedure, 5 HP. It's not that big. And then Fernando starts with an F because you're up there. And then Procedure. All right. Known as the what? Quiet raised hand. Cohen, it is indeed the center. Give yourself 50 XP. This is the center. Write it down. Now it makes sense that the kindergartner would be able to say, oh yeah, that's the center of the circle or the middle. Maybe they would use the word middle. I don't know. Thank you, Gunnar, for correcting yourself. All right, so we know the definition of a circle now. We are going to be referring to this definition throughout the homework assignment. So a line segment. Oh, we learned this one yesterday. It's a line connecting to what? Quiet raise hand. To what? It's a line connecting to what? I need more hands. I only see like one hand. I have a classroom of 12. This is from yesterday. From yesterday. I have the same three people that already got XP from today. Come on, more people, more people. Yay, Josie. Really, really close. That's half the word. There's three letters that... Say it again, Josie. There it is. Come on, please give her her 50 XP end points. Perfect. All right, so... Thank you, Josie. Parallel lines now. This one is kind of hard to define. The distance between the lines is the blank. So when you're thinking of parallel lines, you can draw a picture if you want. Parallel lines. The distance between these points, that point and that point, the distance there and there, the distance there and there. The distance is always the quiet raised hand. The distance is always the what? Four letter word. Starts with S. Jose. It's always the same. There it is. Thank you, Jose. This distance is the same as this distance, as this distance. It kind of looks like a ladder now. But the distance between all these points is always the same. The lines never get closer together because they, otherwise they would cross. They're parallel. They never cross each other. And the third line can be constructed that makes a right angle to both lines, which is a really cool property. So think about this. So I have two parallel lines, these blue lines. Everyone can see that. If I make a third line, it has the possibility of making right angles with both of them. That only can happen if you have parallel lines. Let's think about things that are not parallel. These two lines are not parallel. They cross. It is impossible to draw a line that goes through both of them that has a right angle to both. Right angle there, but that is not a right angle. You can only do that if you have parallel lines. That's kind of one of those mind exploding like, whoa, I never realized that before, hopefully. All right, and our last definition. Perpendicular lines, all the way down here. When two lines intersect at a what angle? Quiet raise hand, this word starts with R. Oh yeah, I see, who's that over there? Jessica. Uh, right? It is indeed a right angle. 50 points, 50 XP to Jessica. I kind of feel like one of the headmasters at Hogwarts. How many people have read Harry Potter? Okay, how many people have watched the movie then? I okay. Movie. I want to say like 50 points to Gryffindor. Although it would be a five points to Gryffindor moment, right? Okay. And a right angle is how many degrees with a quiet raised hand? Monse. 90 degrees. Julian, I try to have, be equitable in this class. People that haven't answered before, I call them before you. Since you've already answered one. But I do give you preference so that you can get more XP because I know that you missed that first one. All right, so example one. This is our final, our first and final example, and then we're going to go on to the homework. So this is one that you guys are all going to do without me. And then I'll come back and correct you at the very end. Can you match the teacher's comments to the definition? So what I want you to do is draw lines. For example, if this, um, if this is the student that matches with this comment, I would draw a line from here to here. That's how I match them. On Khan Academy, you actually have it digitally and you drag them around. But for us, since we have paper and pen and pencil, draw lines between things that you think match. Go ahead and do that now. I'll give you two minutes. All right, so um, the first thing that I saw was a line segment is when three points are all on the same line. When three points are all on the same line, that is called what quiet raised hand? Sergio. Collinear, yes. So these two are going to match up. That's going to be 50 XP to Sergio. So those two definitely match. The hard part is determining which one of these goes where, and that is my fault because I kind of gave a not quite correct definition. But let's talk about this one. A line segment is part of a line, but not the whole thing. So let's think of a line. 
A line goes on forever and ever and ever. So this student is saying it's part of a line, part of this line that I've drawn, but not the whole thing. So if I cut off the line right there, that is a ray. That is part of a line. Which means that this definition right here definitely matches up right here. And by process of elimination, we have these two that get crisscrossed. A line segment is a line connecting two endpoints, which was the definition that I gave, which I realize it's not quite correct. I have to be more careful with my language. All right. So I could have said it's the set of all points in between two points. Um, I could have said other things. Um, I think if they would have included the word part, is a part of a line, then it would have been perfectly correct. I think that's the only thing that I could add to that, unless I'm doing some sort of, some, yeah, some mistake. All right, that's all I have for you guys. You're matching definitions for homework. Ask me questions now. All right, the summary, do not do that now. You are going to do that at home. All right, go ahead and open our laptops. We're going to do the homework on Khan Academy.